back. Settled? Well, it's been a little bit. Welcome back. Part two of Let's Stream Cyberpunk 2077. Oh, oh, my bad. We'll be calling, uh, part two here. Oh, be crumbed and be loaded. Uh, a little bit of a hello there. bit of a recap from last time. We are V. We'll get off the street for a second. Have a little bit of a chat. We are V, a former nomad turned street samurai who has come to Night City looking for a way forward. Our nomad clan is no longer a thing. The backers have joined and um, become absorbed into the greater Nomad Super Clan of Snake Nation. We don't like that. So, we cut our losses and we've headed to Night City for all it's worth. Our first job was where we met Jackie Wells, a dreamer with a heart of gold, and even uh, more chrome. <laughs> and he kind of took us in. I'm sure we'll read that later. After working with Jackie for half a year, we have our own apartment. I wonder if, is this our mega building right here? Yeah. We live somewhere up in that mega building. Mega building 10. And we're blasting scabs on the weekends and trying to yeah, make a name for ourselves. Well, last time we saved a client, Sandra Dorset, for our fixer, Wakako, and we used our, um, I, I guess you'd call it a, a wire jack, <laughs> a neural socket implant to diagnose that she was not doing well, and when we did that, we picked up a neurovirus, and every so often, You'll see that I have an error. Huh. Yeah. Because we are not well. And it's got uh, light sensitivity issues, what have you. So, we're here to talk with Dr. Victor Vector, the best Ripper Doc in Night City. And. Maybe, just maybe, get a couple upgrades. Hello. Vicky, Welcome. Surprise, everyone. Though a common practice, cyberware installation is still a dangerous and invasive procedure, which can only be performed by qualified specialists, Ripper Dogs. There are several Ripper Docs operating throughout Night City who offer a variety of different cyberware upgrades. Select your desired cybernetic upgrade from the list and enjoy your new abilities. Ripper, it's good to see you. Good to see you too, V. It's been a while. To what do I owe the pleasure today? Last gig. Had to jack into a client's neuro socket. Think I might have gotten spiked. Experiencing migraines, nausea. Hypersensitivity to bright lights. Old kit and caboodle. 
All right, Kit. We'll sort you out in a flash. Besides that, how are things? Oh, that's right. Jackie scored us a job with a fixer that's been out of town for two years. Gonna keep me waiting Sean. all day? Sorry, Vic. Met a new fixer. He gave me a job. Name's Dexter Deshaun. Known quantity from the afterlife. No denying you're moving up. But something you're not telling me, Vic? Keep your guard up, that's all. I've heard some things about Dex. He's not as chill as he makes himself out to be. That's good to know. Looking up, Reed. But tools, not toys, Vic. Time I bumped up my sights and got a grip. <laughs> <laughs> really? Now? Finally? Vic, shit's getting real. Got a job from Dex to Sean, hitting the major leagues. Any tech that can perform. The Dexter Deshaun? <laughs> well, that is something. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. I do not have the money. <laughs> but, you know, we'll pay you once the job's done. When we out of crying, Vic. I'll bring you the Eddies later, with interest. You know I will. Hmm. Last time. You hear? Chair, please. Sit down and relax. Kuroshi Optics. Best I've got, and should be about right under the circumstances. Now, Jack in. That's a straight up. That's a straight up eyeball that he just put in that machine. But Kuroshi, that is top shelf. Kuroshi? Whoa. Vic, nothing tops that on the market. Hmm. Sounds like it could come in handy then. I gave you my word I'd pay you back, but this might be too rich for my blood. We'll work something out. Right now, I'm just out to make sure you get back in one piece. Eddie's in hand. You peruse and choose while I scan. Let's see what's going on inside. Cybernetic implants are mechanical replacements for the organic parts of your body. They can give you superhuman-like abilities, which can improve your combat ability and can help you survive in hazardous conditions. Although a common practice in 2077, the installation of cyberware is still an invasive and sometimes dangerous medical procedure. Only specialists known as Ripper Docs, are trusted to install cyberware safely. And here we are. This is it. Uh, you can see that we're mostly working with our eyes and our hands today, but that doesn't mean that we can't upgrade later. later. As you can see in our frontal cortex, we can install a memory boost, which uh, would help us if we were a cyber uh, Netrunner, but we're not. Or a RAM upgrade, which uh, is your RAM refresh. That's not our build. Our circulatory system, we can install a feedback circuit, which would instantly restore 3% of our health after we discharge a fully charged weapon with a hit to an enemy. Uh, and I believe that would be a power tech weapon. A micro generator. Uh, when we would get into critical condition, it would give us an electric shock that deals damage equal to 20% of the target's max uh, health. Adrenaline booster, tyrosine injector. I just looked at that. Nothing for the immune system, but the nervous system, he would have a Kereznikov. By sliding or dodging, we can slow down time. Real Matrix stuff. Or we can put armor in between the folds of our skin. <laughs> An operating system, that's our ability to hack. We can change our skeleton with titanium bones. Our arms. Gorilla arms. Those are intense 
Uh, Gorilla Arms charge with fast attacks, dealing additional damage with each subsequent strike, and when they're fully charged, you can release a strong attack. Mantis Blades are crazy because they're swords that come out of your forearms. A mono wire would be um, you would use you would use it as a whip. It's the same thing as the the jacking in system. Oh yeah, or we could just get a projectile launch system. Just shoot a missile. Legs, uh, fortified ankles. You can just charge up a jump and go. Or my personal favorite, <laughs> reinforced tendons for. And we all tried it as a kid, the double jump. But, let's replace our eyes with some Karoshi Optics. Optical Cyberware is a widely popular suite composed of electroneural enhancements with environment scanning functionality. Yes. Ah, Cyberware you acquire in the world can be installed or sold at any Ripperdot clinic. This is important. And for our hands, a ballistic co-processor increases the chance to ricochet shots with power weapons. It directly links the user's optical implant to the weapon system, offering real-time data tracking. If you hadn't noticed, we weren't able to check our ammo count, I believe. Not, fi not, not visually. But, there Mark we go. Mark 1, like I said, decent enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. Cherry on the top's a built-in external lens disruptor. In layman's terms, any surveillance cam will capture your face as a blur. And just remember, your body will still show up as crystal clear. Hmm. This should do the trick. Talks to Kiroshi Tech, too. Oh, look at the little cat. I'm ready. Carve away. Excellent. Let's do this. Lay that major league arm of yours right here. So, what's new in the life of Victor Vector? <sighs> yeah, if I'm being honest, not much. And that's fine with me. I used to live in a world where all that mattered was who's who, what's what, and how's why. And what happened? One day, I just dropped it and... Never look back. I'll never be a legend in this town, but been sleeping nights ever since. Now, if you uh, have an aversion to surgery, it's not gory, but it's kind of strange. Just like that. Thanks. Now, a bit of anesthetic, and I can start cutting. Feel anything? Play by play, though. Really, Doc? Makes it sound like a dentist. Always going on and on. Don't be mean now. Remember, I'm old. I got a shaky Gannick hand. Could slip. <laughs> Lights out for a minute, all right? Oh. Oh. Ain't got no okay, eyes. Okay, let's test this. See the magic in action. Linking you in. Oh, gosh. You might feel a little discomfort at first. Blurred vision, low contrast, glitches. Well, how's it look? Feel all right to you? Kind of blurry. How? Oh, hey. Oh, this is fantastic, Vic. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Oh, that's cool. Scanning people with your usual, with your optical cyberware, can provide you with a lot of useful information, such as how strong an enemy might be, who is in their crew, or what type of weapon they use. As a skilled net runner, you can see a list of quick hacks with, which you can use against your enemies. Not really Not us, but we can zoom in. Best rip for Doc and Watson. a few seconds to adjust, but first time's rarely the charm with anything, really. 
Scanner should eventually sync with your thought processes and read your intentions. I also injected an NCPD file search. Run into any ne'er do wells? <laughs> you know exactly what they ne'er did well. Nice. A database of individuals with bounties assigned to them is now available to use. You can identify these wanted persons with your scanner. Since all are wanted, dead or alive, the methods you use to claim your reward are entirely up to you. <laughs> it ought to work like a charm. Now draw your weapon. You should see your ammo count in a brand new site. Nice. How about the neurovirus? From the last job, can you check it? Done and gone while we were putting in your implant. And a full sweep on your soft and circuits. Zap the critter. You're certified bug free. Shit, Victor, not bad. I don't know what to say. Say you'll take this and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now, and another two in an hour. What am I looking at? A mild stim. Should boost neurotransmission in the short term and muffle some of the side effects while the implant takes. Thanks again, Vic. You're the best. I owe you. We really do. Go on, kid. Show them what you're made of. And once you hit the big leagues, don't forget where you came from. Uh, Victor. Oh, we got a text. What's taking so long? Move your ass, I say. Dex is waiting on us. All right, Jackie. Now, Vic's an old, uh, an old boxer, actually. Who's winning? Hernandez. You know, in the old days, that cripple Malone would have been flat on the boards. Now, every last fighter's got extra skull lining. Absorb 75% of every blow. Got cash riding on this? Nah, just looking. <laughs> it's out of habit more than anything else. Miss it, don't you? Ah. Uh... How's biz going? Uh, can't complain. Corporals learn to keep their distance, and Sokka's back hiring lone mercs. They all gotta have the newest, shiniest implants. Good thing you got Misty here to help. Handles your griping well. Yeah, renting out her shop's the best decision I ever made. You know what? Seems like you're the only person in Night City who's happy with this lot. You get to a certain age, you drop all your illusions. Life just gets easier from there. I love Victor Vector. He's a great, he's a good friend of V, but he's also a fantastic uh, character. Man, I wish we had a garage. Probably pet this cat every time I come here. What's up? Okay. Yam Yamauchi Kagami, civilian. Is that a straight up gun? Yeah. Please don't point that at me, kid. Yeah, you're probably a neighbor. What do you want, friend? At a certain point, you gotta wonder, just, how'd we get here? He just ate a bug. Okay! Chakra looks a little out of whack, babe. I can release it for you, but you'd have to watch out for negative energy fields. And of 
I can release it for you, but you'd have to watch out for negative energy fields and avoid mean reds. Anything red. <sighs> v, yo, listen up. I talked to Dex while you were in with the doc. He's waiting in his ride for you. Ain't but a hop to where he's parked, next to Gramsci Burgers. Okay, do my best to talk us up. Jackie Wells, huh? Hmm? Affiliation going? Valentino's. Oh, hey, how's Marvel how's Wells mom? anyway? <laughs> Worried about me. Been for a while. Something happened? Started climbing our way up. Got more and more knives out there, waiting to stab us in the back. Higher stakes, higher risk, my north. She could see that. How well do you know T-Bug yeah, How anyway? well you know Bug exactly? That mamita got a soft spot for me. <laughs> no, but seriously, she ain't the type you go out and grab a beer with. Don't actually think she got any soft spots anywhere for anybody. Right. You've been with Misty a while, huh? Yeah, about a year. Why? Just asking. Never thought you'd last that long in a stable, healthy relationship. Hey, come on, Mano. You know I was raised right. <laughs> v, listen. I've got this delicate matter. That's why I called you. The number of cyber psycho attacks in the city uh, is on the rise. Later then. Now, that's probably not news to you, but this issue matters to me for a few reasons. Oh, yeah? There are people who say cyber psychosis can be treated. Right. And I know exactly how that sounds, but I believe even an unproven therapy is still better than a bullet to the brain. If I get a tip about a possible attack, I'll give you a call. Maybe you can investigate before Max Tack hits the scene. But remember, you're not there to execute anybody. Try to incapacitate the attacker, and I'll send someone to pick him up. I hope that's all clear. Hmm. There are various ways to incapacitate enemies without healing them. Non-lethal takedowns, non-lethal weapons, non-lethal quick hacks, EMP grenades, and some combat gadgets. Weapon mods that change damage to non-lethal. If given, if a given weapon, combat gadget, or quick attack, quick hack deals non-lethal damage, it will be mentioned in the description. Okay. The world as will and idea. But besides all this, death is the great opportunity no longer to be I, to him who uses it. During life, the will of man is without freedom. His action takes place with necessity upon the basis of his unalterable character in the chain of motives. But everyone remembers much that he has done, and an account of which he is by no means satisfied with himself. If now he were to go on living, he would go on acting in the same way, on account of the unalterable nature of his character. Accordingly, he must cease to be what he is in order to be able to ar arise out of the germ of his nature as a new and different being. Therefore, death loosey looses these bonds. The will again becomes free, for freedom lies in the essay, not in the operare. Arthur Schopenhauer Misty Alzeski. We'll talk later. Are all around us, even within us. Your joy, your worry, your life. Yeah, Night City. It's a great little area. Wow, that's nice.
What a cute little car. Is bigger than yours. Watch yourself. Oh, my God. How you doing, Oleg? Let's get in. Yo, Mr. V. A pleasure. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> <laughs> Let's roll. Mind if I ask you something right off the bangle? Would you rather live in pieces, Mr. Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory, smelling near like posies, without seeing your 30th? It's first place and no place, Dex. Cost isn't a factor. <laughs> Classic. I'd expect nothing less from eager, supple youth. Respect. All right. Listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scav home. Hang on. I got a question my own now. Why all this, Dex? Why me? Could have had Jackie or T-Bug sitting here. Could have just done this on comms. Call me old-fashioned, but I like to look anyone I do biz with in the eye. Had the pleasure of meeting the Jackster in the past. And sweet T-Bug helped this brother out two years ago. So here we are. Besides all that, got a special little pre-mission just for you. But we'll get to that. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech. A biochip to be precise. Job's to grab it. Simple. Yeah. Guessing it belongs to a court. Mm-hmm. Arasaka. Surely that's no problem. Mm. Uh. Corps don't deserve special treatment. Shit. Sure. <laughs> you ain't playing around. Got a feeling this could be a start of a beautiful friendship built on heaps of eddies. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolve in that. Second, to rendezvous. Simple. Klein, who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shard. Okay. Got a classic tale for you. Psycho gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a Militech convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. Now see, convoy was carrying the flathead. A little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high-grade military tech. Because if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single-use toy. Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say when, 
because Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gangmate, one Simon Randall, AKA Royce, plain dropped his ass. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this shitstrom, one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Royce guy, what's he like? A straight psychopath, chrome-loving kind. Big club in this town. I'll give you that, except few of its other members. No matter the stakes, would put a friend and associate through an industrial microwave dryer. Apparently, first thing to burst are the eyeballs. Get a nice clear pop, then the rest goes goulash. This is uh. prima donna. Corpo agent, internal affairs. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as dependent on finding it. The one lead she's got zip tied in her trunk. Stick up her ass ain't growing any shorter. So she must be getting desperate. Be wise to think how you could use that. Of course, to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Sending it now. Client, what's her thing? Why she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. End the convo. <laughs> anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, who'll be there for it all. That Your cigar's been getting short remote. this whole time. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leaves you. I think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. One more all thing, right. Mr. B. Quiet life or a blaze of glory? Hmm? Later now. Street cred. Performing certain actions will reward you with street cred. Build your street cred to make a name for yourself in the Night City opportunity. In the Night City underworld, doing so will open up new opportunities and new gear. Some people won't even sell you anything. Jackster, talk to Dex. <laughs> yeah, gordito's a big deal. Literally a dog. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he was out to want to over. check our pro cred, but to me, it feels more like he tangled us up with Maelstrom and Militech. There's this combat bot, military prototype. Maelstrom clepped it, then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the gang goons had a switch up in management. I right, heard about that. Royce versus Brick, hostile takeover. That sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deets of some Militech agent, too, but. I don't know how much help she stands to be. Huh. <laughs> you don't sound thrilled. Royce, what do you know about him? He's fucking whack something special. Junkie snort junk. Royce snorts chrome. Then there's the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table. Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. They must know what he's doing. So, how you want to play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? What do we think? Maelstrom or the client? You're weirding me out, V. I'm waiting on the audience, Jake. Parker, I think I ought to see her first. See what she's like, what she's after. Orale. In that case, I'll hit the all foods and put my nose to the ground. Sleep around. Hasta luego. Hasta luego. All right. Now, T-Bug did have a gift for us. We never got to check out. I happen to know it's in this very nice looking building here. A V. 
thought just occurred to me. Can't start your career in the major leagues, right, by sporting some rag of a t-shirt. The wind blows a lot stronger up there on top of the world. Old timers like me hate to watch you kids catch cold. Left you a couple things in your stash at your apartment. Give them an honest try, and I bet they'll fit you just right. Well, yeah, thanks, Vic. You won't hear me say no to three. Three threads. Yeah, you don't want to lose potential business, and we don't want to start a gang war if we're not going to do the job. Glad to hear it. They were just collecting dust on my closet floor anyway. Much rather give him a good new home than some for a couple idiots or trash him. Anyway, hope they serve you well. As they say, style is supreme. Or maybe they don't anymore. I don't know. Which is funny. In the old Cyberpunk um, 2020 rulebook, it was style is supreme, style over substance. Mr. V, I just want to remind you again that the eddies have already changed hands between me and my esteemed maelstrom partners in biz. Around some of 10,000 eddies, to be precise. So when you're there to take it off their hands, don't let them try to shake you down, as they're liable to do. Maelstrom being a maelstrom. Thanks. Need it. Best of luck. Yeah. T-Buck sent me. Said you'd have something for me. You're V, right? She had me hold the demon for you. It should work on ah. any third gen deck. Got a Militech power line. Think it'll do. Mm. Solid gear. For a beginner. Okay. Glad to grab a demon, always. You could test it now. I have an access point. If you'd like, that is. You might extract some shim soft or subroutines. Seems worth a try, either way. Okay. We have ping. Some of the oldest, most basic functions in computing may never outlive their usefulness. I agree. Uh, let's sell some junk jewelry for 980s. Vinyl record, <laughs> uh, guitar pick, and counterfeit diamonds. Nice. Okay. Well, daggone, we've leveled up twice. We want more in the reflexes. Handguns. Gunslinger. Rio Bravo. Ooh. Desperado. High Noon. Yeah. And then we'll go to our cyber deck. We'll swap out reboot optics. This is a really good, this is a really cool hack, actually. So, the surveillance camera. We're going to breach the protocol first. By doing that, that's just a one scene of 55. It's going to reduce our quick hack cost by one RAM unit when dealing with anything connected to this. And then, we're going to go ahead and ping. And there it is. Look at that. Now, we're going to do a 1C and a 55. Okay. So that'll be 1C, 55. Let's take a look. And the more 
we end up doing. I got mad love for Vic, but sometimes he doesn't have the exact thing we need. Oh, yeah. Whoa, you're big. You're half man, half mega block. Not often I see a ripper invest in a Gannic body like that. Most people don't realize the brain functions better when it's tied to real, not synthetic musculature. Replace even a single hand, and you'll notice a dip in concentration and overall well being. Cyberware is more harm than help. Not great marketing for a ripper, Doc. Nope. But I don't slow biz from chromers like you. Huh. Looking for a change. Right. Come on, then. Time to tinker. All right. Operating system. I really don't need... So maybe a berserk. This will allow us to activate a kind of a berserk mode. Um, yeah, interesting. But you see, he won't sell us a whole lot because our street cred's too low. Our issue here is that we don't have enough money. And we don't have the 12 body. Ah, optical camo. This is pretty cool. We can turn invisible. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Anything for the circulatory system? We might be able to get a, a second heart. Shock and awe. Eh. Nervous system. Neo fiber. Synaptic accelerator. Oh, yeah. Charisma cause is kind of the same thing. Skeleton. Hands. What's he got here? A smart link. Oh, yeah. Alright, so nothing. Nothing quite there. Uh, you might have missed the first episode um, in the six months V's been working with Jackie he bought this uh, car now this place is near and dear to my heart this is Lizzie's bar home of the mocks Very unique kind of a place. So the mocks are a gang of uh, humanitarians that um, they take their name, Lizzie's Bar, from their gang founder. Uh, she would protect other uh, working girls and boys and uh, make sure that they were taken care of, um, medically, um, had stable work insurance, stuff like that. And they make sure that you know the Looking rules. Looking a little put out there, input. Interest you in a preem BD? What do you got? What don't we got? Women and men of your dreams. Synaptic acting A-listers, no washed up virtue porn boy toys or blow up dolls here. Oh, tur stuff. 
It'll grip your heart and blow your nerves right out of your body. Pure bit-based ecstasy. That's why people come here. You really know how to sell it. Not a sales pitch, it's a warning. I'll give you one word. Bespoke. Not for everyone's synapses. Think you can handle it? You know what? Maybe another time. Sure thing, stud. Reconsidered, huh? Ah, uh, spoke. Damn, that sounds promising. I get it, I'm in. Mm-hmm. Couple of things you need to know first. <clears throat> Severe penalties for any unauthorized recording. No drugs, no groping. Someone catch your eye? You do not grab them. You find them in the catalog, ask for a BD, and get yourself a box. I really look that green to you. Like I don't know. Mm-hmm. Doors open. Have fun, input. Welcome to Lizzie's. My, what a sweet little face you have. At least I keep it clean. Yeah, so this is what happens, right? So you get these. Hey, another round over here, Stat. So what you'll do, I believe that this is how it works. You know, you've got the live dancing and what have you, but for anything more, they put you in a uh, private box with one of these little headsets on. Right? So, what can I and you get to experience... And then, you know, a lot of the experience actually comes through these uh, brain dance headsets. <laughs> but we're here for biz, not pleasure. Hey. Get you something. So, curious. The name Lizzie's. Is that the owner? Not for a long while, no. None too sweet a story. Now I'm just flat interested. Real Lizzie ran a strip joint out of this place back in the day. Lizzie's bar. Girls were paid right, insured, even had decent security. Good spot, all in all. Ah, stories of the golden days. Inevitable demise and the inevitable drink over sweet memories. Tall one makes the tall tales easier to swallow. So what went wrong? Tiger Claws shot up Lizzie. Tiger beat one of Lizzie's girls real bad ones. No hesitation, Lizzie blasted the guy's balls off. The gang came back the next day. Liz was done. Tigers gave this place up to the Mox in the end, though, didn't they? Sort of. The Moxes had to make a deal with them. Luckily, they kept their heads organized quick. Big boss now is Susie Q. But the sign stayed up, out of respect. The biz booms to this day. Gosh. I'm looking for Evelyn Parker. You know if she's here. Who's asking? The big tipper. Generous when I get the answers I'm looking for. Appreciate the gesture. Truly. But afraid I don't get paid to talk. Opposite, actually. It's all right, Mateo. I was waiting for this one. Evelyn.
Evelyn Parker. I knew it was you as soon as you walked in. Since on, only tequila I drink. <laughs> How would you know? I like to know everything about the people I work with. Either that or it was just a lucky guess. Why are we meeting here? Any particular reason? Actually, it doesn't seem much like your thing, this place. Mm hmm. Hmm. I'll take that as a compliment. Come on. Know a place we can talk where ears won't prick up to listen. We'll be in the lounge, Mateo. Anyone asks, we're not here. Reflex is a six. <laughs> Dex had a load to say about you. Called you professional, effective. And trustworthy. I hope he wasn't overselling. Yeah, well, you don't care what Dex thinks. You don't give thinks. a rat's dick what Dex thinks. We both know that. You have trouble accepting compliments? No. Just think flattery's beneath you. Am I wrong? Maybe Dex is beneath you. Have you known each other long? You write in Dex's bio? Hate to disappoint, but I just don't know much. In other words, you hardly know each other. Yet he fingered you for this job. Hmm. Curious. Shit, buzz Dex right now if you're getting cold feet. I can wait. I doubt he'd add anything I haven't already heard. Anything I'd really like to hear, for that matter. There's only one other bunch that's worse than fixers in that respect. Used car salesman. <laughs> I'll go with my gut for now. Okay. That's fair enough. That's Let's obvious. cut to the chase. What do you got for me? Your target. I trust you know what it is. Relic. Secure your soul trinket. Key tech in the program, actually. We're tangling with Arasaka. Making this heist one dangerous, risky motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Arasaka's poured billions into personality transfer technology. But me, I just want the data on this one. The chip is tucked away inside Compeki Plaza, the hotel. You ever been? Classy Corp hotels? Yeah, no. Out of my price range. Hmm. Oh, the decor's to die for. As you'll see for yourself. So where's this chip hiding exactly? In a suite on the top floor. The room's occupied by Yorinobu Arasaka. Yorinobu Arasaka? He's in town? Don't you read the scream sheets? The media couldn't get enough of Yori coming to Night City. It was all over the headlines. Anyway, he's heir apparent to the Arasaka Empire. Saburo Arasaka's only surviving son. What? So Arasaka Jr.'s planning to grab the reins while in Night City? Only a handful of people in Night City know what the Arasaka's real plans are. Telling me you're one of them? So we're not jumping the corp. We're jumping Yorinobu Arasaka himself. <sighs> Yorinobu is a puppet. He lost all his cards years ago when he failed to do daddy's bidding. Saburo's had Yuri's balls in a vice for years. He might just turn the screw and crush them outright if he learns his son's up to no good again. Mm -hmm. Well, I bet his security's intense, though. I mean, he's the, the heir to the Arasaka. A dog like Yorinobu's bound to have an army on call. Hotel's probably a goddamn fortress by now, too. 
Yorinobu keeps exactly no hustle around. Not one guard. Got rid of them a long time ago. Huh. Why is that? Surely you know what they say about Arasaka Into. Sneeze in Night City, and a blossom drops from a cherry tree in Tokyo. Yorinobu was convinced his Arasaka security detail reported directly to his father. I like that. Look, if you've got any spare aces up your sleeve, now's the time to show them. Now, this should make your prick perk up. Yorinobu recently swiped the chip from an Arasaka laboratory. He's made a deal with Netwatch. Aims to sell it to them. Have you spotted my ace yet, or do I need to spell things out? Wait, Neutral Netwatch is mixed up in this. Netwatch provides net security for all corporations, and collects eddies in the millions for it. But in this day and age, everyone's in the game, and no one can afford to be a saint. To win, one has to go all in. So what's your Nobu do to walk away with? Unimportant. You focus on the biochip. What could Cyberspace's mm. watchers and protectors offer him? Intelligence on his enemies? That doesn't matter in the least. Because you'll make sure the transaction never happens and I get the chip. Fine. So no Arasaka security on the device because Yorinobu whisked it away in secret. Now, where's he hiding it? Well, likely in a specialized container. One that mimics an organic neural environment. On the outside, it looks like an ordinary briefcase. And the case is... You'll see for yourself soon enough. Provided we're done gossiping about the Arasakas. One more thing. Data that's on the chip. What is it? Irrelevant. Entirely. We're talking about data Yorinobu snuck out of Arasaka. What's more, he wants to pass it on to Netwatch. Sounds pretty damn relevant to me. Listen, V. The relic. That's my concern. Your concern? Earning a paycheck. Just get the job done. I'll make sure your bank accounts are sated. What else you know about Yorinobu? Quite a bit, actually. He studied finance and biotech in Tokyo. <laughs> Probably didn't have a choice in the matter, come to think of it. Saburo was grooming him to be his successor. But then Yorinobu vanished to chase his own dreams. Cut himself off from the corp for years. Long story short, though the black sheep returned, the bitter taste remained. But that's only one side of him. There's another. An intelligent man who has always walked his own path and so has his own designs on the corp. Seems to be risking everything with this relic scam. Yes, because he's fallen for the biggest lie this town puts forward. That he can gain and retain control of anything. Okay, what's next? Now comes the best part. Follow me. Got something for you. Should help you plan. Brain dance from Compeki Plaza. How's a brain dance supposed to help? Need facts, not thrills. <laughs> Think BDs are only good for fondling virtual tits, jacking off to in those boxes. No, they can be a very useful tool. Good for analyzing details, human perception, even boosted, doesn't grasp. Exactly what you need. So what's on the tape? Yorinobu's suite, the glorious interior. You'll need to locate the relic yourself. Hope I grabbed enough detail to make that possible. Hold up. Mean to say you recorded this? Mm-hmm. BD rec implant. Why, you object? No, not at all. Let's see this brain dance. Judy will help. She's a mox, too. Besides, we go back. V, this is important. Judy's always been there for me. Always helped out. I trust her. But she's a mox, not the latest member of your crew. Try not to forget. So, you'll be a good boy, tread lightly, and keep that tongue on a leash. 
Relax. Believe it or not, I'm no stranger to tact. In biz or life. <clears throat> hey, there you are. This is V. He's here for that BD role. And V, this is Judy. Best brain dance editor I know. Enough already. Gonna make you barf. Sensory SIG amps, acoustic and emotive wave monitors. It's top shelf hardware. Yeah, most of it's customized. Only thing factory are the casings. <laughs> Model this yourself? What do you think? Expression translator. Fuyutsuki, right? I thought the matrices on that series were fucked up. They were, but swapping out matrices is simple. And this was the only model that would support additional scan work. <clears throat> all right, all right. Compiled your BDF. What do you think? Will it do? Still pretty raw, but yeah, ought to do. Mm-hmm. V needs to get deep inside. That's most important. So, let's calibrate. Tune it to him. Believe me, I've dealt with worse. You should see the jig jig street porn we gotta contend with sometimes. So we drop V inside. Let him look, let him rummage around, right? How about a V? Raw brain dance. Ever taken a dip before? What do you mean by raw? How's this differ from the ready mates? Huh. Ready-mades, provided they're well-made, should feed you feelings and impressions you'd never have the chance to experience yourself in real space. But it's mass-market shit, so it's pre-crafted, hard-coded, fenced-in, and manageable. A raw one? Well, it's more like a virtue in Viro. Get to move around, look at things in detail. Editors use those layers to fish for juicier emotes and impulses, then use them to pad the BDs that go to market. Sit down. Settle in, and we'll get you going. Okay. We'll sit down. Now, I gotta say, this is just so cool. Create your sensory profile first. A what profile now? A model of your perceptions and emotional responses. You need to adjust that so the raw BD won't overwhelm you. If I don't, best case scenario, you'll get nauseous as soon as you're in. Probably barf like you would in a shoddy virtue viral. Mm-hmm. And worst case? Your synapses sizzle like locusts in a deep fryer. But we're not about to let that happen. Okay. Hit me. Just promise me it won't hurt. It won't. Not this time. Now sit still. Look at me. Gonna run the analysis soft. Should feel a slight tingling. Mm-hmm. Okay, now let's set the optics and other sensory sigs. Look smack into these two screens. Pretend it's an eye exam. Get a lot of requests like this? All the time. But it's usually stuff the girls scroll at the club. I take that and do some routine porn tuning. Crank up the orgasms? More like cut out all the other shit. Fucking's business as usual for these guys. Their minds wander to grocery lists, spouses' birthdays, late bills, whatever. But even then, you can refigure things, mold the emotions into something unique, unforgettable. So. I can't complain. One more sec. Need to get the pain receptor limiters in. Okay. All set. You need to test your profile first. Tossing in a sample BD. You can use it to get to know the editor. Now let me see. Where could we... <sighs> can't he just use my recording? Why are we wasting time? So we don't risk our necks? Sides won't take a sec. Got something here. Should be perfect. What'd you choose? Corner store hold up in Haywood. Real amateurs. Don't even know where I got it. Suits our needs perfectly, though. You ready? 
All right, let's do it. Mm-hmm. Let me give you the tailored version first. Let you get your bearings. Then we'll jump into editing mode. Be diving in and... Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay, on you go. Down, everybody! On the ground! I wanna see you kissing the flooring! Money! Now, or I will fucking drop you, I swear to God! Whoa! Yeah! Hey! Uh, uh, now! Before I blow your fucking head off! Ah! Slow, deep breaths. Your cortisol and adrenaline spiked, but the soft activated your hormone blockers. Nothing happened. You're alive and well. That was... Too much. Felt. I could feel the guy's pain, his stress, his hope. Hope wrapped up in something else. Mm hmm. Probably took a booster just before. You'll be fine. Got everything set up? Let's switch over to editing mode. Sever the link to the BD Roller's sensory array, you'll be able to look around freely. Whole scene's yours. Full cam control and analysis mode, so move around, zoom in and out, whatever else you come up with. Think of it as your own little sandbox. So, analysis mode, you control playback. You can even pause when you feel the need. Then you use the editor console to unpause. Try it. Flat simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, Get out, and we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. Dream as hell, right? Well, that's not all. You can speed things up or rewind, whatever you like. Give it a try. Rewind. Roll it back to the top. All good. Neat. Now try fast-forwarding a bit. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Love the cream. We don't need the Yeah. Okay. You can also reset the recording. That'll take you right back to the beginning. Try it. Now for some fun. This here's why you came in the first place. In analysis mode, you get to view and even scan details of the enviro recorded by the BD roller. Focus on the heat. The gun this gonk gets from his buddy at the beginning. Now scan it. Plan simple. You have not built Korea. You don't need to touch me. Everything on full blast. That's why I answer for when I... On you go. Okay, right here. Excellent. Let's move on. Now, heads up. In analysis mode, you can ferret out background noise and conversations if the roller got close enough. This tech records everything, every little detail, even the sights and sounds the roller was never aware of. To see the sources of the recorded sensory signals, switch to the audio layer in the editor. Go ahead and try that now. Okay, good. Now you should see several sound signatures in the store. Choose one and hone in on it. Okay, fuck! On you go. Ah, little shitheads! Go restock. I'll take the register. How about you suck a bag of dicks, eh? So, any thoughts? Unbelievable. Seriously, like what's happening right next to me. Yeah, it's how BD recording implants work. They pick up everything, all the elements in the background. Then an editor tweaks them, makes them pop. Keep playing with the sound, explore it a bit. We'll move on when you get bored. Go restock. I'll take the, the register. And a couple how about you suck a bag of dicks, okay? Eh? We have a deal today on two flavors. Cody and yeah. Serpent. Everybody!
Sometimes you can analyze extra layers in the raw. Stuff the rollers cyberware picked up. Like what? Ev's got Kiroshi optics that grab infrared. Meaning you should be able to grab heat signatures from her recording. Huh. <laughs> Hella nice. Now let's wait till the guy punches out the gonk at the counter. in the flooring! Money! Scanning works on peeps, too. Walk up to the wounded chick. Try scanning her. Alright, next thing. Scroll forward to the part where our artist gets a lead injection. Now, or I will fucking drop you! I swear to God! Walk the other hand! No! Shot him and he never saw it coming. But you will. Here it comes. My favorite part of the game. See the blinking thing over the entrance? Surveillance cam. Must have caught our shooter. You'll see in a sec. Cam feeds to the screen behind the clerk. Roll back to where the screen's in the kid's field of vision, then scan it. Chumba shot him. Probably planned to all along. Must have got a nice slice of cred on the black market for a BD like this. BD freaks are ready to pay a preem for a real flatline. Anyway, if you've seen enough, you can exit. Right? It's too bad most of the BDs we do here are only good for flogging the log. Anyway, you ready to do this? Look at your wreck? Dunno, I... Let's take a break. Still feel like that kid when... Oh, yeah. I think I'm done. V, there's no time. Get it together, please. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Just need T-Bug to link in. Whoa, 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 who? Runner for my crew, security specialist. She'll tell me what to look for while we analyze. No problem, I hope. Actually, it is a problem. Not what we agreed, Ev. Judy, please. Ev, he wants to bring a runner in. What part of that don't you understand? How do I know she'll only slip into this footage? Me. I'm your guarantee. Yeah, right. Remember our agreement? Help me, this one last time. I promise everything will work out, just like we planned. Okay, V. Call T-Bug and we'll dive in. Hey, V, what's happening? Bug, listen. I got some useful footage from Compeki Plaza. It's a brain dance. Con Pecky. Oh, thought as much. Someone there with you? Unimportant, T-Bug. Please focus. Need your help. Got no clue what I'm supposed to look for once I'm in. All right, see if I can walk you through it. Jacking into your tech now. Mm, you've got to give me access. Opening port 1779. Secure protocol? Good, I'm going in. Should be getting my request... now. Got it. You ready? A millisec. Okay, connection confirmed. Now some quick dip ice, and we're clear. Ready to dance. Fire her up, Judy. Uh. Huh. <laughs> that really set the scene. 
very quickly. All right, B, eyes open. Gotta find out where Yorinobu's keeping the relic. You look like a cut of fuckable meat, are you? Evelyn, she... I felt her fear. Sure got it under control quick, too. I said, no! They'll have my head for this. Then, you shall perish for a good cause. But, uh... Make yourself comfortable. I need a minute to... Listen in on that conversation, B. Could be something important. Finish. We'll watch the whole thing first. We shall see soon enough. My father's a tired, visionless old gray beard who thinks nothing will change and he'll live forever in his tiny frozen bubble. You will listen to this. Saburo is an Wow, champagne's decent. Removed from reality. Taste boosted somehow? Stuck in nope. some fossilized vision of a world Same bubbly, you'll that be no longer in real space exists. Soon. Of a world that may never have existed. We have not seen eye to eye for the past 20 years. I am quite sure we won't now. Note it. In Go back to when they first start talking. Need to hear the whole thing. Oh. <laughs> Sorry to make you wait. Business can be stupid. Hmm. It wasn't long. Not even long enough for me to grow bored. Is everything all right? You seem tense, edgy. A moment. It will pass. <sighs> I can get to work on that. Just. One condition. You wish to make demands of me. Only one. Focus on me. Oh, got any candy left? Stuff was pretty fun last time. Bedroom, nightstand. I've got an idea. Be right back. Very nice, but come here already. Just a sec, looking for the perfect thing. Ah, oh, you'll like this. Oh, fuck. It's like I'm really... I miss this. You. I know. Sorry. <laughs> uh, we got work to do. Military grade cyberware detected. Ninety-six percent coverage. Danger extreme. Extreme caution. Are you? Shit, cameras packed with new tech. Motion sensors, heat sig activators, IFF. You skilled enough to kill it all? Mucho more than enough. Just need access to their subnet. Firmware's fresh, but saw excited birds chirping on a BBS. Something about lots of seeds falling to this sieve. Let me generate keys. I can forge their six. I said no. They'll have my head for this. Then you shall perish for a good cause. But make yourself comfortable. 
I need a minute to finish. Here in a drone, ventilation and cooling, servers, gotta be. Fancy doodads in here need to be controlled. I need a minute to finish. The program is still in the trial phase. We cannot take it to market as is. We shall see soon enough. Please speak with your father. He's taken a particular interest in this project. He can certainly explain the risks. My father is tired, visionless old graybeard who thinks nothing will change, and he'll live forever in his tiny frozen bubble. I should not even be listening to such things. You will listen to this. Saburo is an adult despot, utterly removed from reality, stuck in some fossilized vision of a world that no longer exists, of a world that may never have existed. We have not seen eye to eye for the past 20 years. I am quite sure we won't now. Read the documentation carefully. The relic requires specific storage conditions. You must not provide right. them. In Heard that? Relic docks gotta be around here somewhere. Look for them. Ah. You seem tense. Oh, the last time. Good. Nice. Okay, Lydia. Like Very nice. But come here already. Just a sec. You're looking for the perfect thing. Ah, oh, you like this. Manual details a special temp controlled container. Relic needs to be kept real cool. So, chips gotta stay in the freezer. Yep, could damage it otherwise. Okay, switch on thermal layer detection in the editor. Should be easy hey. to spot where your Nobu's keeping the chip. Loaded. Safety's on. Good to know, though. Once you're in there, don't forget about that iron. Automated turrets. Latest scanner model. System is all connected to the server. Can you shut them off? Externally, no way. Gotta get in, check out how they link into the system first. Mm-hmm. Looks like all their security systems are linked to the hotel subnet. We need the flathead. No other way to shut down these systems. Can't get around them ourselves? Nope. At least I'm fresh out of ideas. This time. Bedroom. Nice. Okay, here. Air conditioning, standard model for hotels of this caliber. Tip matches that stipulated in the docks, but no way the chip's hiding there. Too risky. Temp fluctuations, risk of damage. Makes sense. So we'll head back. Looks like Mr. Arasaka had something to celebrate. Really think you'll find the chip in there? No way. Tim's too low. Could fluctuate. Nice try, though. Just a fancy ass fridge. No. Tip doesn't match the guidelines. Won't find a thing here.
Right. Grab the heat sig. Matches the spec in the docks. Yorinobu's got the case here. Guaranteed. Mm-hmm. We got it. Good work. Looks like we got everything we need. Quit out of the editor. Kind of lengthy, but... Hey. Yep. That'll do. Thanks, Judy. We got it. Later, T-Bug. Nice work today. See you soon. I'll wipe the cash on your data. You were never here. Keep it. I'll put it on Ev's tab. Portable device for handling BDs. I already uploaded your calibration settings. Not as sophisticated as what we got here, but should do the trick. And it keeps you out of harm's way. Clever. Speaking of harm's way, know what I see looking at you? Walking, talking corpses. We needed that recording, Judy. The BD practically does our job for us. The BD will be the death of us. Seriously. If Arasaka finds out you have it, you're dead. I'm dead. Judy, relax. Nobody will ever know. Evelyn, please. No shortcuts. You go that route, City will always win. So be careful. Of course I will be. Besides, we'll talk in a bit. Judy. Really. Don't worry. V, one sec. I know what I'm doing. Let's walk. Okay. She sounds a little irritated. Well, what do you think? Intel on Yorinobu, the chip. The BD from Compeki, wins are right. The plan's perfect. A job like this comes one in a million. Hmm. Thanks. Now the punchline, please. Just sounds too good to be true. What's the catch? Cold feet. Are you looking to get out of it? I want to know if you're really in control here. You're not sending me into the sort of shit I can't wait out of. V, I have zero reasons to haze you. We're in this together. Really. Trust me that I got this. You're not worried? Our sock will flag and screen anyone who's had dealings with Yorinobu. Oh, they'll have a long list then. Packed full of big names. Much bigger than mine. You tell me who they check first. Corpo hotshots and cutthroats? Or a little bedroom plaything like me? I think I see how you know so much about Yorinobu. It's simple. Men like bitch. So it's just about the sex? Biz. And biz only. You sure Yorinobu doesn't expect this kind of move from you? He's got no idea. Trust me. He's too busy with Netwatch to give me that kind of attention. Besides, even if some suspicion takes root in his mind, it shouldn't matter. He won't react in time. And that's something you'll handle, right? Yeah. Right. So, what now? V. Do this job for me. I mean me alone. No splitting the payout with anyone else. No middlemen. No decks. You want to fuck over our fixer? I knew something was up. Dex is a middleman, and a useless one at this point. Evelyn, you don't mess with fixers. That's the one rule every merc in this city knows, and actually follows. But if we're smart... Doesn't matter. A mistake like that'll cost you a rep. Without a rep, you're nobody. 
You sure you want to do this? Better ask yourself that question. Do you want to spend the rest of your days blasting scabs? Or become a legend overnight? Your choice. No fucking way. Dex took a leap with me. He trusts me. Now I'm doing the same. 50%. With cred like that in your account, you won't need Dex for anything. No, Evelyn. It's not just about the money. I thought you were a merc. I thought it was always about the money. Not behind the back of someone who trusts me. Sorry. Fine. I never asked. But V? Hmm? I just hope you're as good as you are naive. If you need me, call. I'll send you my number. Okay. Good luck. Now go. I need a few words with Judy. How things looking, Mr. V? Turns out Evelyn's recording from Compeki was worth our time. Beautiful. T-Bug already called. Said she's working her match. And the flathead? Nothing yet. On it now. T-Bug says no chance of that ship without that bot. To work then, Mr. V. Hola V, how's it going? What's the status? Uh, with a client. Played me a BD at the place we're supposed to visit. BD, I'll keep you posted. Sure will. Going in or staying out? Mark Moss Collective. First will come the great reality check, which ushers in the future of the world. Let's see here. Five Nova. Yeah, we're gonna craft that. Nice. No 
but we can also upgrade. Mm, copperhead, ninety something. I do prefer the copperhead to the others. Place the convoy. You shut him up. Spill what you know. Don't make me wait. Nuh-uh. Not on the horn. Let's meet. Cut a deal. A deal? Fine. First exit off Skyline, driving towards the NID. Storm channel under the overpass. Meet you there. We're already heading that way. First person driving is something that I can get used to. <laughs> oh! I'll never make an assumption again, I swear. city is wild at night. Killed a single thing this entire episode. Let's see how bad these guys are. Oh, that! Ah. 
Gucci. People, listen up. The litter's flying so fast. Starting to run low on raw materials. Gotta act now. Start with the chemical warehouse. There's plenty of those in town. Ones with the least security first, especially in Kabuki. Uh, we got a regular Mr. White, don't we? <laughs> Look at those high tops. Wow. So we want the largest data mine we can. So that's going to be BD 1C 1C. Okay, so that's BD 1C 1C. Joseph Williams. All right. some new some new threads All right. I love the cotton weave ah oh, there's our old tank top vest. Hey. Going back to basics. Ooh. Okay, so this is a, this item's a reference to The Witcher 3, actually. I like that. I think we got this from Vic. Uh. Oh, anybody seen Akira? I was, I was enjoying the turquoise. I was. There we go. Hey. 
looking pretty good. I like it. Meredith Stout. Take it you were the one to call? Yeah, that's me. Okay, That'd be great. Oh. Thought you could blackmail me, fucker! Set conditions! Calm the fuck down! I just want to talk! Christ, Meredith! Shut your trap! That fucking thing ready? All set. Now answer my questions. Honestly. Forthrightly. Are you here alone? Yep. Just little old me. It's the truth. Do a sweep now. Now listen, close. This piece of shit, Anthony Gilchrist. Is he your contact? Is he the one who leaked intel on the convoy? Never met anybody named Gilchrist. That the poor fucker right there? It's true, doesn't know him. That said, I've jumped a few convoys in my day. Know all the usual suspects. I bet I can help find your mole. But what I know now won't get you anywhere in that respect. Listen, I know where the transport is. I can help you. Just want a favor in return. <sighs> I told you! I fucking told you! I'm not the mole! Jesus Christ! Shut him up! Unhand me now before I... <sighs> him you can let go. Wanna hear what he has to say? You know, I could help patch the gaps in your convoy security. Prevent a repeat of this fiasco. Nope, not interested. Let's hear your offer. I don't have all day. Couldn't have been chill from the start. Shut the fuck up. Tell me what you want. Fine. You need a bot. Flathead model. Guys who ripped you off have it. Promise me that bot. I'll point the finger. You have a plan how to deal with them? Could just take it by force, but they're expecting payment. So I could go that route too. Fine, the latter. But on one condition. You pay with our money. Sounds solid enough. I'm in. Some shards you find in the world will contain information hidden behind data encryption measures. To decrypt a shard, first either open it through the notification when you when you acquire it, or find it later in the shards tab under journal. Then select correct security to unlock its secrets. You pay with that chip, and that's all you gotta worry about. Try to fuck me in any way, and I'll be seeing you real soon. Yeah. You're making a mistake! The cunt's already good as dead! And she'll take you down with her!
Okay. Shards. Yeah. Let's drop a hard save. Just in case. Okay, neutralize the other's oh, malware on here. And copy. Oh. Alright, so 55, 1C, E9 is all we need. So, 55, 1C, yeah, neutralize the malware. All right. Eddie's on the cred ship are clean. Okay.
Meeting with the Jackster. beams and high beams. That's cool. Anyway, I would like to thank everyone for tuning in to this episode of Let's Stream Cyberpunk 2077. I think that this is a good place to go ahead and stop before we go into... What? Uh, later then. That's... What? Okay, well, we don't want to mess that up. <laughs> so we'll just uh, fix that real quick. Well, as we continue to drive up to the whole, the all foods, um, that will be the end of uh, part two of Let's Stream Cyberpunk 2077. Uh, when we come back next time, we will do the job. We'll see exactly how we can get through all foods and deal with the Maelstrom gang. You can see up on that tanker, actually. That's the males from Gang Tag. This is one of their big places. And let me tell you, Maelstrom, we haven't uh, come up against them in this playthrough, but they are borged out. Their biggest role model is probably that, um, that smasher from the BD Evelyn got from Compeki Plaza. But I'd like to thank everyone for tuning in to this episode. Um, please follow me on Twitch if you haven't already. Like and subscribe on YouTube. I do back up all of these uh, episodes on YouTube after every stream. And with that being said, we'll park uh -huh. and save quickly. This is uh, Jeff the Narrator, and like always, keep telling stories.